Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's recap of The Bachelorette. Well, last time we left these guys, uh, they left Casey in Iceland on a glacier. Or and now they're last head, year. Now they're headed to Istanbul in Constantinople, uh, Turkey. Yep. So. <laughs> Allie is confident about her final seven now that Casey's gone. She's a stupid bitch. By yeah. the way, there's a new Sassy Gay video I know. coming soon. I saw it. It's for Eve. No, okay. it's already out. All right, so Chris arrives, and he's got something important to tell Allie. Uh-oh. He's got his eh, eh face on. So he's like, okay, remember Jesse from last season? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't understand why she was involved in this, but he was like, yeah, either. she's got some big news for you. She's Canadian, that's why. And he sets up this phony phone call. He's all like, eh, oh, eh, eh, uh, 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 eh. And, oh, do you have time to talk to Allie right now? Like, this wasn't no, planned, like, weeks in advance. No, just sitting around with this camera here. <laughs> exactly. She's sitting there with <gasps> horrors. Jessica. Justin's, Justin's girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. And she gets on there, whips up a few fake tears, and is like, ah, wait, ah, sorry to tell you this, but he... He even has another girlfriend, and he even broke his leg to get on the show. And I took him to the hospital and everything. No, that wasn't part of it. <laughs> Justin, what a slut you are. I don't know about the second girlfriend part, but she was like, yeah, he's been planning this all along. He wanted to be on the show to advance his He's got to get to the final three, so bitch, get him there. <laughs> I'm telling you, he needs to get to the final three. And Allie was like, that is disgusting. So, of course, she's spitting mad, and her and Chris run over to the boys' den. And she calls him out. Yeah, in right in front everyone. of everybody. And he runs off. He's like, all I need is my wallet and my passport. I'm out of here. Chris Harrison was like, wait, wait. He's like, F you. Yeah, exactly. That's all he had to say was F you. And he ran off like a little baby with his tail between his legs. Yep. Allie was chasing him. That was not very classy no. on her part. I just would have been like, all right, I don't even need to talk to you. Bye. Yeah. So she's like, you're going to regret this. <laughs> Come talk to me or you're going to look like a fool. He looked like a fool anyway. Finally, after he like tries to jump over all these things with his brace Walking on his cast. leg, yeah, he comes back and he and he has nothing to say. Basically, she just is caught. like, "I gave up everything. I hate you." Yeah, that's okay. Much it. That was pretty lame. <sighs> so then, as he's finally walking away for real, they play his voicemail messages to Jessica. Not one. Not two, but three. And they're I, all like, Jessica, I love you. Take me back. I want you to be my wife. I've learned so much since I've been here. Could you just be my wife, okay? Because, like, I don't want to look like a total a-hole on the show and end up with no one. Everything that he denied not five minutes earlier. Exactly. Well, the show must go on, so let's get to the first one-on-one -on -one date, which is with Ty. Let's get steamy. Oh, yeah. What are you waiting for? So they go to the Turkish baths, and yeah, nice band-aids, Allie. Couldn't you have taken those off? Someone didn't break in their shoes yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's massage time. What else is new? They have a little dinner by the water, all oiled up. <laughs> and he thinks that it's sexy, that she likes to get her hands dirty. Okay, so <laughs> we find out that Ty had his hands dirty before, because oh, yeah. he is divorced. Well, I was a little surprised, to tell you the yeah, truth, because I, I didn't know he was They probably before. said that, and I just missed it. He's learned a lot, though, and he likes to be married. So Allie likes it, too. She gives him the rose because he's broken in already. And then they grind the <laughs> night away. They did. Right. Love conquers Olive. You know what that means. That was the next date card. It's group date time for Chris, Roberto, Kirk, and Craig. That means that instead of giving Craig a one-on-one -on -one date... Frank has his second. Frog gets his one-on-one -on -one for the second time. You just said that. All right. I know. So. There's not going to be a rose on the group date because the guys are going to have to fight to the death to spend some time with Allie alone. So they have to fight these four oily guys. Four burly, somewhat burly, Turkish oily guys with black leather pants showed up. Yeah. They're all pros. Pro olive oil wrestlers. Who knew? Turkey's weird. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, Ali 
really wasted no time in oiling up the guys. She personally rubbed them all down. That was weird. Oh, yeah. So first the guys had to fight the pros. And they all lost. Yeah. And then they had to fight each other. So it came down to Rober Roberto versus Craig. Craig Ew. won. Ew. May I say that again? And he was all like, yeah, I usually uh, fight with my fight words. With words every day because I'm a lawyer. Did I happen to mention I'm a lawyer? I, if I were you, I'd keep that a little quiet because it's not cool. All right. So Frank is freaking out again as usual. Frank has been freaking out since the first date. Frank freaks out every minute of every day. I know. What's wrong with you, Frank? Get a grip. He's You're anxious. on a freaking group dating show. So, ugh. Craig and Allie have a boat ride to dessert in a tower. And then there was some fireworks. Unfortunately, that was the only fireworks. <laughs> they didn't have any chemistry at all. Yeah. It wasn't even brother and sister. No. They didn't make out. And she makes out with everything. Not everyone. <laughs> everything. everything. So that's pretty bad if she can't even, like... Yeah. So then yeah. she sends him off, and it's time for Frank's one-on-one -on -one date. Well, the road to love is bizarre. Of course it is, especially when you're dating Allie. So they go to the Spice Bazaar, or as I like to call it, the Spicy Bazaar. Okay. <laughs> Frank bought some Turkish Viagra. <gasps> the economy size. Then... Frank! Yeah. Allie dressed up as a belly dancer, which was kind of weird. She was really sucking it in. She's got the belly now. She put on 15 pounds this season. That's crazy. I know. Then they went to this carpet shop, and they were all like, hey, buy my rug. And Frank they were was like, like no, no. I don't want no rug. And what does he do? He they walked out with a rug. Out with I guess he finally figured, wow, I should probably buy this rug, because if I do end up with Allie, I want to have a souvenir of, you know, yeah. the country that we were in. Duh. <laughs> You should have been like, I'll buy that rug right away. Well, did the show pay for it, or did he? I'm sure the show paid for it. Come on. So, they end up having dinner in a wet basement that they call the cistern, <laughs> with water <laughs> dripping everywhere. Yeah, I would like this place. <laughs> I know. I would have had a freaking headache in there like you wouldn't believe. It was probably covered with mold. So, they had to walk in this dirty, cold water over to this platform where some food was hanging out. Well, Frank makes it clear that he wants one girl in one marriage. That's right. He's only going to be doing this one time. And that makes Allie scared because she is, like, ready to get married at the drop of a hat. Because she doesn't care if she's going to have to get divorced again. Because that only means that she'll be broken in for the next one. So, Frank gets the rose. Apparently, he did some fast talking. And he's falling hard for Allie this week. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's time for the cocktail party. But there's not going to be no cocktail party this no. week. The boys get snubbed. And Allie tells Chris, I don't want them to beg too much. But I've already got my mind made up, Chris. Yeah. So it's time for the rose ceremony. Get the boys up to my room pronto. What the hell was Chris L? Grow up! You don't wear sneakers anymore with a suit. I hate that. Maybe he has feet problems, and the sneakers I have orthotics. I don't care. It's a it's a commitment. It's a sacrifice. Dress up for God's sakes. All right. Well, the rose ceremony. Roberto got the first rose, and then Chris, and then, and then cliffhanger. Kirk. Kirk. Yeah. Which was predictable. Craig, she doesn't want some boring-ass lawyer. She's all, you're going to be a great husband, but... Lousy lover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. Has the guy ever kissed a girl besides a hooker? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. I just did. That's messed up. All right, he was busted up over it. He seems like a nice guy. <sighs> all right, <laughs> next stop, Lisbon, Portugal. Everyone's excited. They gave away the rest of the season, too. Pretty much. We're not going to talk about it right now, but we are going to talk about Ty performing in his underwears. He <laughs> he was all dressed up like um, risky Tom business. Cruise. Yeah, risky business. But there was nothing risky about it. It was all planned. All right, kids. So till the next contrived episode of The Bachelorette. Much, much love. love.